you have noticed an increase in diphtheria cases in your region. It is normal to see a few cases during the winter, however, the total number of cases has gone above what was expected for this region and time of year. Based on your country's guidelines and case numbers for diphtheria, an outbreak is suspected. Now, it is time to investigate the outbreak, even before the outbreak is confirmed. An outbreak is generally suspected when the number of disease cases reported is greater than the number normally expected in a given period. If you do suspect an outbreak, this should trigger an investigation to confirm and manage the outbreak. Keep in mind that the decision to launch an outbreak investigation may depend on different factors such as the severity of the disease, its potential for spread, and the availability of resources. We will review the different activities involved in an outbreak investigation. You must alert higher and local levels, then visit the area to confirm the outbreak, search for additional cases, analyze the data you gather, manage the outbreak, and report details of the outbreak to higher levels. The first step is to alert appropriate people of the suspected outbreak. Immediately inform higher levels that an outbreak is suspected. Alert reporting sites in your catchment area and ask for daily reports of suspected cases. You will also want to inform facility staff that you will be visiting to investigate the suspected outbreak. Gather resources for your visit, including data for the affected and surrounding areas, job aids, data collection forms, and drugs for case management. Next, confirm the existence of an outbreak. It is critical to rule out other causes for the increase in cases, such as an expected trend, better surveillance, or misdiagnosed cases. Review any clinical exams or lab results to verify the diagnosis for suspected cases of the disease. Make sure the disease surveillance staff is accurately completing a disease-specific case investigation form for each suspected case and correctly gathering specimens for lab work if needed. Also, Make sure staff know the working case definition and that they apply it consistently to all cases under investigation. Another key activity is to search for additional cases. To look for unreported cases, surveillance officers can visit health facilities in the district catchment area to talk with doctors and nurses. They can also review patient registers for cases that fit the case definition or diagnoses consistent with the disease under investigation. As a manager, you should visit the communities where cases were reported and talk to community leaders. If feasible, organize a house-to-house -house search for similar cases and contact health facilities in neighboring areas to determine the extent of the outbreak. Next, Compile and analyze the data you've collected on the disease cases. Create a line list from your case investigation forms showing each case's name, age, address, sex, immunization status, other risk factors, and lab results. Like when analyzing higher level surveillance data, it is important to answer these questions when you are investigating an outbreak. When did people get sick? Where are they located? What populations are affected? And what are some possible causes? This involves drawing an epidemic curve, plotting cases on a spot map, and analyzing the immunization status and ages of cases. Carefully analyze this information to develop hypotheses about the source and spread of the disease. Another important question to ask during analysis is, how severe is the outbreak? Two ways to measure the severity of an outbreak are the case fatality rate, or CFR, and the attack rate, or AR. The CFR measures the proportion of deaths among cases and is an indicator of the severity of the outbreak. 
The AR expresses the risk of disease in the population in a given area since the beginning of the outbreak. You will also need to manage the outbreak as early as possible. This can include a range of activities including treatment of cases or isolation to prevent additional spread. In some cases, you may need to address problems in the immunization system such as the cold chain. Depending on national policy, the response may also require a rapid, focused immunization response. Finally, it is critical that you report details and lessons learned from the outbreak investigation. Your report should include details of the outbreak, the investigation, the findings, and the response to date, problems identified in the immunization system, and recommendations to prevent further outbreaks or better prepare for or respond to outbreaks in the future. You have now reviewed the important activities involved in an outbreak investigation.